Hey, what's up guys? Coach Bobby here. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, guys. I am sitting here after my, my Tuesday morning cardio and abs workout, so I'm still a little bit glistening, a little bit shiny from the workout. Shout out to my boy Dustin and his drive gear. Uh, so if you notice, I'm, I'm kind of glistening and I'm kind of glowing, right? Part of the glow is from the lights. I think the fluorescent lights in my, in my home gym slash garage. But part of my glow, to be honest, is from the weekends, my Sunday 5th BTY Symposium, right? I'm still sitting back and just kind of marinating and enjoying what an amazing event, event it was, right? So my fifth uh, time doing my BTY Better Than Yesterday Student Athlete Symposium, co-partnered, co-collaborated with a wonderful, amazing team. So before I get started into my message, uh, I've already told you guys I'm, I'm still basking in, in the glow and the joy of an amazing opportunity to touch the lives of young people. Uh, but a, a shout out to everybody who made this event amazing, right? To, so, so Conrad, who, who runs the nonprofit, and Letty, who does the day-to-day -day grind, to Gabe, to Celine, to the whole Ward family. Right, Papa Ward, Mama Ward, uh, TJ and Tehran, um, and, and for putting together an amazing event, right? To all the volunteers, my son Amari, uh, Evan Vernon who came with us, um, um, uh, Roz, Rosalind and her crew of, of gymnasts who volunteered, and all the parents and student athletes who showed up, I wanna give, give you a special thank you. I am beyond humbled and beyond uh, gracious um, and have gratitude and thanks just for the opportunity uh, to do that, but, always a but, right? Um, let me explain to you a, a, a point in my life that I'm about to cross over, right? So I'm sitting there uh, and it's the first time I've gotten this close to my vision of what I think God wants for me. It's the first time I've gotten a taste of what I always talk about I want, and that is the ability to boom, bounce around the world, not just the state or the country, but bounce around the world, giving my message of chasing greatness to people, to groups, to teams, to companies, to organizations, but especially to young people, right? So my BTY symposium idea was born from an idea to give student athletes in high school and junior college and college the, the, the tools they need mentally emotionally, spiritually, to fight this journey, to fight this battle. And along the way, bring in the parents, bring in the coaches, and teach them as well that these same tools, these five steps to greatness can be used to accomplish anything. So my dream, my vision, was to have these huge events, these one day, two day, on location, retreat style events, that I just come in and run and do my workshops and my motivational talks, and I speak to the hearts and the souls and the spirits of people. And this was the closest I've gotten to the dream I had when I closed my eyes. And by that I mean, it was completely ran, for the most part, marketed, uh, ran on, on, on the day of the event, coordinated by people outside of me. And I was telling my team, you know, my wife Maria, who, who hasn't come to very many, I'm afraid for her to see me speak, and even that felt more comfortable. My daughter's gonna be up here this weekend for my next event. Uh, but I was telling them, I, you know, my content branding guy, the guy who really started all this, this journey with me, Tanache, I was telling them that it felt weird that everybody here is doing this work and coming to see me to see Coach Bobby give his, his, his talks and, and give his knowledge and, and for me to, to, to put into their hearts and spirits some joy, some push, some motivation. And it was all for me. And it was weird, right? So I, I put up this, this quote yesterday that I want you guys to rehear. I know many of you have heard it before. So I'm gonna say it again, right? If you've heard it before. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? 
Who are you not to be that? Right? And that quote dives deep into what prevents many of us from going forward. Who am I to lead? Who am I to say I know this? Who am I to create this? Who am I to believe I can be this or that? Who am I to think that I can make a difference in my family, in my community, in my neighborhood, in my school, in, in my world? Who am I to think that? And, and it reminded me of, of my son and his co-jumper, right, Kingsley. Wonderful kid. I coach him in football. I'm going to tag him on this video. And one day, like when they go to these jumping events, he's one of the best jumpers in, in the state, for sure, in our section. And, and one of the days when he was jumping, we were talking, and he was telling me how it feels awkward for people to be clapping and people to come see him and talk to him and view him as this, as this mentor, as this role model to other jumpers. So when we show up to an event, our high school shows up, there are jumpers who already know who my son, and more, and, and, and more specifically, because he's been there longer, who Kingsley is. They know who he is. And so he is humble. He is uh, kind and, and, and gentle, has a gentle soul. And so he told me how he felt awkward that young people his age looked up to him. And so I told him that part of, part of, of, of our journey as human beings is to realize who we are, number one, and then realize whose we are, number two. Who we are and whose we are. We are amazing creatures given a gift. And we must find and use that gift because whose we are is God. And who gave us that gift is God. And if we don't use it the way that we're supposed to use it, unapologetically, confidently, lovingly, then we are doing our God and ourselves and our community and our world a tremendous disservice. And so while I sit here and you guys know I can, I can be cocky, I can be arrogant, but that's my alter ego, right? In my, in my workshops, in my talks, I talk about how I built up this brand of, 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 of drive, of passion, of, of motivation, of strength, of courage, of fight, because that's what I needed to go from a kid who was shy and embarrassed and felt ugly to a confident football player, to a confident CFO, to a confident business owner, to a confident dad, to a confident coach, and now to a confident speaker. But the other side of me, the original side of me is still that shy, kind, awkward kid. And so when I'm done doing things, that kid shows up and says, shows up and says, man, why do I deserve for people to come see me? Why do I deserve to be the headliner at this workshop or symposium or motivational talk or workshop? Who am I? to think that my name should be the featured on the billboard when people are driving from out of town to come see this seminar or conference. Who am I to think that should be me? Who am I is God's son who, who created a unique gift inside of me that needs to be given and delivered to people. That's who I am. That's who I am. That's whose I am. And so when I sit here, I'm like, you know what? There are people who need that version of me. There are people who need Bobby to show up, Coach Bobby to show up and give them that drive, that passion and remind them that they have inside of them the same thing I have inside of me. Greatness. That they have inside of them the same thing I have inside of me. Success. That they have inside of them the same thing I have inside of me. A ordained path to greatness. That's already written. That's already given. That's already paid for. By our Lord. That's already paid for. And so we sit here and we have no problem using an iPhone that is the product of somebody who, 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 who fought through fear, who dared courageously to be different. And we drive cars and, we get, and we're in houses and we watch televisions and we buy clothes, all products of people 
who dared greatly. People who felt the same way you and I feel. Why me? Who am I to think I should be the one to create airplanes or create iPhones or create cars or write this book or make this movie or become this actor or become this spokesperson? Who am I to think that I should be somebody who speaks out about this or about that? Who you are is greatness and whose you are is God's. So I sit here kind of a changed person, kind of. Now I still have these fears. I still have these doubts. But at this symposium I went to, there were people who came up to me and made me feel okay with being the reason they came up to me. I'm gonna say it again. Going to this symposium and delivering the way we all delivered Right? I don't see myself as the product. I see myself as part of the product. I provided the talks. I provided the training. But the whole event, the whole production was a team of Ward Boy Project, of volunteers, of my family, my wife, my kids, my, you know, my friends, my, you know, my colleagues. It was all of us. Right? And so who I am is the person that this kid and that parent and that coach and that you know onlooker that they needed in that moment that perhaps no one else could have done. And so I want you guys to remember that as you embark upon your journey and you reach your milestones and you go after your dreams and your goals and your visions and your level and your version of greatness, when you get to a point and it feels awkward and you ask yourself, who am I? to want to be great? Who am I to want to be a CEO? Who am I to want to be 50 pounds uh, lighter? Who am I to want to be uh, married happily? Who am I to want to be a great parent? Who am I to want to be somebody who speaks? Who am I to want to be a football player at a division one school? Who am I to want to be a volleyball player at a division one school? Who am I to want to be an, an Olympian in, in, in gymnastics? Who am I to want to be the best motivational speaker on the planet? Who are you not to? Who are you not to use your gift and your talent to change the world? It's that simple. And my message to you is a question and it's rhetorical because I know the answer. So who are you? Who are you not to be what you're supposed to be? Love you guys. Have a good day. Bye-bye.